So very important is geometry It's about all that your little bitty eyes can see A line goes in posing directions Without end like a straight noodle stretching Always with no band Topology can be defined as the study of geometric properties and spatial relations unaffected by the continuous change of shapes or sizes of figures. It can also be described as the way in which constituent parts are interrelated or arranged, such as the topology of a computer. One example of topology is when a family of open subsets of an abstract space such that the union and the intersection of any two of them are members of the family and that includes the space itself and the empty set. A topologist mainly studies the shapes of objects in the world around us and how they don't change when the main shape is distorted. Two examples of basic topological principles and ideas are as follows. If a person were to draw a line segment on a plain piece of paper, as I have done here, in the line segment there are four points marked A, B, C, and D. Next, the person scrunches the piece of paper and re-expands it only to have the line segment fully and clearly visible, but not flattening out the paper. A topologist would take this line segment and try to determine invariants that have occurred during the segmental. An invariant is something that has not changed. The topologist would note, yes, that some things did change, such as the overall shape of the segment, but they would also notice the fact that it's still connected from start to finish. If a person were to trace their finger along the segment, the points would still go in order. A, B, C, then D. The way to define something that has been changed, such as this line segment, is to say that it is distorted. Another example to show a basic topological principle is to take a rubber band, such as this one, and cut it once, like this. You then tie two knots in the rubber band, each equidistant from the center and the two endpoints of the rubber band. If you were to notice, many things would change if I were to pull or twist the rubber band. But no matter how much I distort the rubber band, some things just don't change. Some invariance in this distorted rubber band is that there is still untied space in between the two knots. The rubber band is still connected from one end to the other. And still, one knot is closer to the right side and one knot is closer to the left side of the rubber band. The way a topologist measures distorted figures is not by the size, volume, or distance like most people would think of measurement, but rather he involves invariance. It would be no help to a topologist to tell him that a room is 407 feet and two inches away from the front of the door. But rather, he would like information, like how the room is four doors down, up the stairs, and the four first door on the left. Something else that is unordinary about topology is how objects are looked at. If I were to draw a circle on a piece of paper, what, what, what would the line do? It would separate the paper into two sections, inside of the circle and outside of the circle. The name for a line, like the one drawn for a circle, is known as a simple closed curve. All figures with two separations, inside and outside, are drawn with simple closed curves. Object, objects such as this triangle and rectangle contain one simple closed curve. Objects such as this figure eight do not contain a simple closed curve. 
they contain more than two separations. If I were to twist or turn this rectangle or triangle, several invariants are easily noticeable. All of the points in the figure stay in the same order, and they all stay in the same place on the paper in relation to each other and the edges of the paper. Objects can also be simple closed curve. Simple closed curve can be used on a baseball or a football because there is an inside and an outside to both of these. Another easy way of demonstrating a simple closed curve is by distorting your face in a concave or convex mirror or a large piece of reflective metal that easily distorts your reflection like using this teapot. As you will see, the line tracing my head will always stay complete and there will always be space inside of my head and outside of my head. My nose will always be in the same spot in relation to the other spaces on my face. And there, this will never change. In topology, Objects are characterized by their genus. A genus is a group of objects that are separated by the number of cuts through the entire object that it takes to cut the object and keep it in one piece. All solid objects have a genus of zero. They do so because if I were to cut this baseball down the center, it would be separated into two pieces and it can never be cut and not be separated into two pieces. Objects or figures such as this pair of scissors have a genus of two. Because a person can cut these pairs of scissors here and here and there will still be an entire piece. But any more than two pieces, two cuts, and the pair of scissors will be separated into two separate pieces. Objects, like this bagel, have a genus of one. They do so because I can only cut once and still have one whole piece of bagel. Any more than one cut, such as two, and there would no longer be only one piece. All objects that are in the same genus can be molded into different objects of that same genus. Like how I can take this solid piece of silly putty ball and roll it into a football-like figure. They both have a genus of zero, but I cannot roll this football into a bagel without cutting a hole through the center. The triangles can be called by the lengths of this side. The equilaterals are half because they're all the same size. Isosceles has two equal sides and another. The scalene says, oh, none of us are equal, no bother. Uh -huh. A radius goes from the center to a point on a circle. The diameter shoots it to the circle fold. Same size and shape are the key for line symmetry. You can fold it equal.